Testing, one, two, three. Hello, and welcome to the stream. Today we will be doing something totally different uh, than we did yesterday, and even different from what we planned to do yesterday and got distracted from doing yesterday. Uh, now, it turns out a long time ago, I actually computed that some stars were not in their correct boundaries. They were not in their correct constellations, at least according to my calculations. Now, you would think that people would just have dismissed me as being a crazy lunatic, because that's what I am. However, it turns out that somehow this became important again, and people are actually talking about it now. So let's go over here. It's the HYG data. Well, that's not good. Um, come on. Please. Oh, man. All right. There's a way to get to this. Hang on. Uh, without actually, well, I, I mean, I probably want to log in. So there it is. Okay. So now the magic that's happened here. Um somebody actually got interested in what the hell I'm doing for some reason. Um, so I created this uh, on January 25th. I don't think I created it here. Um, but, but this is bad, because, I mean, people are now paying attention to me, and again, the fundamental rule is don't pay attention to me. Okay, so basically what I did is... Um, uh, da -da -da -da. Now, you will notice here that I said I will be happy to run my program on the entire list and make corrections as needed, um, and then I gave this lovely, lovely uh, link to a program I wrote to do it. And by the way, there are three participants. This, of course, is Brandon Rhodes, who is far more handsome than I am. This, of course, is actually it's Brandon Rhodes facing in the other direction, but he calls himself Don Cross, but he's facing in that direction. Um, and this, of course, is me. So, so let's look at this lovely program that I wrote for um, to solve this problem. And you can't really tell from here until you see this usage note or this usage note. It doesn't do what it's supposed to do anymore. It, it totally doesn't do that. Now it just basically tells us what constellation a given planet is in. Um, and you'll even notice that uh, the description says HYG data in C form and more. Where, what is that? Is that, a, um, is that a previous commit? Let's find out what the hell that is. I'm kind of curious now. Ooh, shininess. Um, so again, basically, I changed the program to totally break it, and yet left a link to it, which is just, just, just awful. Um, why did I do it? You know, there's a lot of reasons. I think it's because I, I'm a bad programmer, for sure. But I get the feeling it's, it's more than that. It's just like a bad person. Um, oh, this is actually differences, other differences in the commit. So what we want to do today is use GitHub to find older versions of this program and then do absolutely nothing with them. No, we can probably create a new program, compile it, and then have um, and post the correction to GitHub. Hello, just some critic. Oh, hang on, hang on, I think you're a fake. Are you? Nope, you are. Have you been here before? Just some critic. Damn it, do I know you? Let's, let's see. Mm, don't seem to know you. I've heard you before, though. I, your name seems really familiar, but... All right. Okay, cool. I, your name seems familiar. Are you from um, one of the hot girl streams that I follow? I, I get the feeling you're almost definitely from... I don't want to say it until you say it first, though. So who's, whose stream have we met on, or are we just... Okay, good. Who's the hot girl your stream you watch? It's one of two people, I'm almost sure. Oh. That stream. Okay, so I do know you and I haven't seen you in a while because, uh, and I'm just going to announce that I'm going to be very upfront about this here. Um, I, I was very rude to Yummy, uh, who has a wonderful stream. She's a wonderful person. I'm going to try to find her actual stream thingy so you can, uh, her stream name so you can find it and follow her. She's a much better person than I am. So, you know, uh, let's see. Yummy K. So let me go ahead and put that up here. Uh, we will, of course. So you should go watch her. Wonderful person. I once insulted her and she was kind enough to forgive me and invite me back to her stream. But the burden of, of self-hatred when I enter that stream is too great for me. Just some critic I did meet there. Oh, that's very kind. I, you know, and I am a nice person. No, I'm not actually. See, the problem is, and I, and I, and I'm going to say this because I think it might. Well, no one's listening, so I'll say it anyway. 
When I was a teenager, um, you know, I didn't get caught up with a bad crowd or anything. That, that just didn't happen back in those days. But I found out that when I was with other guys sort of hanging out, we were kind of a little bit looser and nastier with our language. Uh, and then, you know, I grew up and now I'm bajillion years old. And so this other guy decided we were going to actually, this was actually with Yummy's permission, we were going to comment on, rebroadcast and comment on our stream. Uh, and one other guy offered to help me. I actually asked for help, and one other guy offered to help me. And I can't really blame him either, but I just we just sort of got to where the two of us talking just got rude and nasty and, and you know, kind of locker room, boys' locker room stuff. And I was ashamed of myself because I don't... It hadn't happened in so long. I thought it was gone. I mean, you know, professors don't really hang out in locker rooms talking about, you know, math curves or anything. Yes. Oh... You were the other voice. You. She even made she made you a she made you a moderator, didn't she? And then she was gonna have you bump me from the channel, which I was you were the other voice. Okay, well now now we have a, a major smackdown coming in here. So this this here I forgot about that. <coughs> Just some critic was the man who was the other voice. We said very it's not by the way, it's not up on YouTube, it's not up on which it's been deleted. Uh, you cannot. Uh, you cannot see it. You cannot hear it. I, I actually have a copy of it, but uh, that just to remind me what a terrible person I am. Um, yeah, we basically insulted Yummy. We called her all sorts of names. Um, I'm guessing the, the it might even have been against TOS, although no one compl and it's down now. So I, I, you know, but no, it was it was terrible. It was terrible. We made fun of her quite a bit. Um, and if I remember correctly, now please definitely correct me on this. We made fun of a couple other people, didn't we? Because I'm pretty sure you and I went to another channel and, and, and messed with someone who happens to be in the same country you're in. And, and I thought that would be safe because cause you were, yep, yep, yep. Because um, you and her, I know, were in the, yep, in the same country. And I thought that would be safe because at the very least we would avoid, you know, nationalism or racism or whatever. Because how are you going to insult someone from your own country? But you found a way to do it. You basically said she's from a different part of the country and that part of the country is, uh, you know, is, is stupider or whatever than the other part. Which I should have thought of, because in the United States we, we do that a lot, but it's a big country. So, you know, Texas is very different from New Mexico, is very different from New York, uh, from California, all that stuff. But it never occurred to me, if I remember correctly, you're in the tiny country of Lithuania, or one of those countries that no one remembers in Eastern Europe. Maybe Hungary. Well, one of those countries that one day someone should just merge them into one big country. Slovenia, Slovenia, yes, not, 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 um, not Lithuania, Slovenia, which I, you know, just sounds like the kind of country where, where wherever people eat, they just, all their food goes down their shirt or something. That's just what Slovenia sounds like to me. It's a terrible food crisis in Slovenia. We keep dropping food down our shirts. It goes right to the floor. Um, and yes, you said you were from a part of Slovenia that's different from the part of Slovenia the other person is. I think I'm going to mention her name as well because I wronged her. And um, I've wronged, a, you know, more than two people in my life, obviously. But, um, oh shit. I think I accidentally, did I? I, okay, hang on, I made a mistake here. Yep, sorry, need to fix this. It's yummy underscore K. But now we're going to find the other person we insulted, who I also feel very bad. Oh, please don't tell me she quit. No. Yeah, yeah I, know, I know who you mean, but... Uh, man. Not cool. Let me see if I can find her name. I. Why do I not have a... Um, uh, oh, here it is. Um, I'm going to go check out her channel right now. And this is another person we insulted. Um, and I'm very, very sorry about it. I apologize to her. And, of course, it's not available online. But, yeah, we definitely got pretty nasty uh, with both of these people. And it's... Uh, okay, well, now don't say mean things about her. Because, I mean, now it's, like, making it worse. Let's not say anything nasty about her until we can... See, obviously we don't want to watch her stream and our stream, because that's what started the whole problem in the first place. Although I'm guessing she's not broadcasting at this exact second. Um, okay. She's changed her hair color. But let's see. 
Well, it looks... Oh, okay, see, it's the same person. Uh, she was on three days ago. She has, um... Why are there three chap... What the hell is a chapter? Wow. I didn't know you could do that. That's kind of cool. Maybe I should tr change my stream chapters. So she's clearly um, a wonderful person. Pomodoro time, I'm going to skip it because it's the first one. Uh, you should watch her. I was very, very nasty to her. Um, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. And just please, please go, go watch her. She's not on right now, but, you know, go follow her. And, you know, don't tell her I sent you because you might think that's weird. Uh, but and if you do tell her that, apologize on my behalf. I don't know how just some critic feels about it. I don't know if he wants to apologize, too. Um, so she didn't get banned for TOS, and I really don't like... I mean, that's... You know, if, some, if you've wronged someone, you don't try to wrong them more by making up rumors about them. <sighs> okay, so... Just, I guess, for people who are watching the chat... And since you didn't say her name, I'm not going to say it either, but people on the stream can see that it's, it's Jimby who are listening to the audio video. Okay, so what we're trying to program here today is um, a long time ago, meaning January 25th, I pointed out that some of the stars were in the wrong constellations uh, in, in a given file. Um, I don't even know what I, I don't even remember writing all of this. I mean, some of this makes reminds me of stuff, and then I claim to have written a program that uh, c makes the, these computations and shows what's what's wrong. Um, but it turns out since then I've changed the program, and now it doesn't do that anymore. Uh, very very terrible behavior on my part. Uh, I'm clearly a fucking moron, um, but that's the way it is. So now I'm going to try to restore the program and fix the um, and fix the post that I made to refer to the correct program. So how will we be doing this? I don't fucking know. No, actually, there's a couple ways we can do this. I'm going to try using git. Now we are on a um, we aren't we were mounting our drive from somewhere else. So this will be slower, but I think this is a worthwhile process that yay. Yay me. Um, so give it a little bit of time to read. 5,756 commits. Beat that. Now the cool thing is I actually happen to know when I posted this. Um, so I can use that information. I think it was January 26th I said. Let's check real quick though. <coughs> the bad thing is I have like 20,000. Oh, by the way, that was a dry cough. So yes, I am catching corona. I will be dead in a few days. So please do try to watch these streams. After I'm dead, make me famous or something. I don't know. Okay, so where did I say I was going to do this? Um, she is, and so are you. Oh, yes, I'm not a wonderful person. I'm a terrible person, but I am also a madman. So I'm a terrible madman. I mean, I'm good at being a madman. If it's not that. Um, so January 25th is when we did this. Sorry, I'm actually doing some work as we, we do this because I'm actually kind of interested. Whenever someone shows interest in anything I do, I'm interested. So you will notice that I commit like every five minutes because not to help people, to screw them over. That is my credo. So we're going to look at some of these commits in just a second. Oh yeah, absolutely. I've got some time. I mean, um, I think the the um, incub. Well, no, we're past the incubation period if I'm symptomatic. I think that once you start showing symptoms, uh, you either die within three days or you live. So this stream, you know, I might not stream every day, every next three days. But, you know, probably got at least two more streams before I pop off. Um, okay, so one of... It is January... I keep... Oh, man, I've got terrible memory. January 25th. I'm a fucking moron. I'm a, Okay, so here we are, 25th. Um, and wow, just like a total... Okay, so I rewrote that part of it. But this part actually went into BC Lib. So that's actually okay. Mm, okay, so this is the version. Huh. I think this is the version that was the one that computed stars, the one I actually ran. 
Well, you know, that's one of the... I mean, I've heard of the concept. This is, um, this is C. This is straight C, not C++. Not C sharp, just regular everyday C. Um, you know, I've heard about that, that porn buddy thing where if you get really sick and in the hospital, some guy comes over, that a good friend of yours comes, comes over, takes your porn, doesn't get rid of it, takes it for himself. So people, when, you know, after, if you're sick, they won't find your porn and think you're a pervert. But keep in mind now, I don't really have anybody. I mean, I'm old. I kind of want that to be the... In fact, I would not mind if, like, when I died, someone came in and put in additional porn, like, you know, gay porn or animal porn or whatever it is, just some sort of other porn that would make things me seem like even more of a w weird person than... No, no, because, see, I don't want that because I'm not... You're not going to be my porn buddy, but you can bring in more porn if you would like. So... Um, you know, and you know, it could be like fetish porn, whatever. And so then when I date people are like, oh, this guy was really much sicker than we thought he was. And then I will be up in heaven or maybe the other place, um, smiling down thinking, yes, people think I was a porn god. It's, it's, it's how I want to go. Okay. So now I'm going to be very careful because I did commits every three seconds. Uh, this looks like the big commit that changed things though. Um, but let's see what this commit did. Oh, this commit didn't touch that file. This commit did touch that file. Um, oh, fuck. Didn't mean to do that. So we have three commits on this day. This one, which I think is the one we actually need. And this one, which didn't touch this. And this one, which did touch this, but I get the feeling this is uh, preliminary work. Uh, and I'm sure it has the commit comment checkpoint, because I... I'd like to be as useless as possible. Constellation number. And these five, these got moved to BC lib, so that's fine. Uh, okay, that was just testing. Okay, I think it is the next one. Um, yes, I did. I. I touched my own code and broke it so badly that it does something else. It does something now successfully, but um, not what it was supposed to do. Um, okay, so what I'm trying to program, like I said, is a program that tells me what constellation a given star is in. Um, and it's not as easy as it looks. Uh, and it would be even harder if I tried to do it correctly, which I'm not. Um, actually, I just realized it could be from here because that would be the last uh, change before I fucked it up. Okay, so what is this? Oh, that's not a lot of changes. Print. This might be it. Okay, so let's get a copy of this version. Um, let's see, old version. Wait. Wait, what the hell? Um, unless I'm really screwing something, okay. Okay, new version. So the old version had nothing in it. Hmm. Let me get a timestamp on that if I can. Okay. Okay, come on, when, when on the 25th, I'm that lost. Oh, crap, I could probably figure that out, though. Um, so this is the new version, which doesn't seem to do that much either. I mean, is this really the whole thing? No, there's something wrong. I'm doing a... I'm doing a... I'm still getting a diff, I think. Um, let's see. Now, I know there's a way to get it by knowing the commit number, um, which is this thing right here. And I guess we should do that. I want to be very careful because I'm pretty sure that getting the, you, the when you get the current version, you, it breaks the other version. Um, that's a good question. As far as I know, um, and, and I'm probably wrong about this, I don't think there is a star chart library that converts um, 
stars to their constellational, it converts right ascension and declination uh, to their constellation, although now that I think about it, uh, there's none in C. There is definitely one in Python, because someone wrote one. Um, I don't know of any in C, although they probably exist. The library that I am using, the C Spice library, does not do that. Uh, they're very clear that they do not do that. And honestly, constellations are stupid. We don't need them, so there's, there's a lot of pointlessness going on here. Okay. So now how? Show me the diff. I guess the diff old version just shows me... Okay, I see. It reverses the form of the diff. It doesn't show me the whole file. So now how do I see... Yeah, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Oh, let's see what this is. Highlight this to external diff. Oh, well, that's what I did. That's literally what I did. Um, in fact, I might even have given credit to Brandon Rhodes, who wrote the Python library. That's not the problem. The problem is I need to run it again to see where it disagrees with the HYG data constellation name. Because I said I would do... See, what, oh, let me go back here. So what I said here was, very casually and very stupidly, I found three mistakes. These three right here. Uh, and I said, if you feel these corrections are valid, I'd be happy to run my program on the entire list and make corrections as needed. See, now this is the kind of thing you say when you don't expect anybody, and then, but I wanted to double check first in case you think the existing values are valid. I realize that Stellaria may not be canonical. This is the kind of bullshit you say when you know no one's going to actually call you on it, right? I'd be happy to help you. Uh, and then some bastard son of a bitch, Cosine Kitty, who I'm sure is a wonderful person, don't make fun of him, um called me on it. So now I've got to do it. Uh, yeah, good. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I, I'll never reach it. I mean, unless they make rockets much faster, much quicker. Uh, I think I'll just aim for the sun. Shoot me into the sun. Or sun. I mean, they're all technically suns, I guess. But okay. Anyway. So the problem is I wrote the program that did this, but now I've changed it so much I need to, I need to bring it back. I need to, so I can run it again. Um, and if you think that's the stupidest thing you've ever heard of... Ooh. Write commit to file. That sounds tempting. What does that do? Um, okay, that might do something. I don't have no idea, I mean. And so what do we have here? We have commit. Okay, this is not looking good. Uh-huh. Okay, that's stupid. We will be deleting that. That is, does not belong here. Did you say something else? Let's see. Um, yes. Yeah, I mean, that, that is the standard procedure, is you claim you're going to help someone, you're going to learn something to help someone, they help you learn it, and then you abandon them and stab them with a knife in the back. Except not literally because I have COVID, which means that if you come too close to me, uh, and get my blood on you, it's possible you'll get COVID too. Although, if I remember correctly, you're fairly young and healthy, so you'll actually get over it. So, in fact, you might want to get COVID, spread it around to the rest of Slovenia, which, honestly, the country name does not thrill me. Slovenia. You know, maybe, where's fast Venia? You know, where's medium speed Venia? Slovenia. Uh, kind, of a, kind of a dumb name. So, um, just look into that. Sla S love Vinia. Huh. S love Nia. Yeah, but what does S and Nia mean? I mean if you could come up with good names for S and Nia, then you know you could say, uh Okay. Ass love Okay, we need something on the NIA. This could be now in ass? I don't know. Um so the ass-loving country of Slovenia, man, is this why your reproduction rate is down so far? Because I've got to tell you, you can't reproduce that way. It's tight and dry, but it's not, it's not reproductive. Um, 
I guess I could try to befriend some other Slovenians if they're on the internet. Um, well, I still think you need to fix it. You could just call your, you know, the, the country of Aslov country or something. Aslovenia. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Aslovenia. It is, uh, it is like Slovenia, but there's more ass in it. Um... I like it. Maybe one day we'll do that with other countries. The United Dongdom. France kissing. Okay. Meanwhile, um, the other way I know how to do this. Um, actually, hang on one sec. I actually have a little section about Git tips. Um, that that sucks. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, here we are. Um. Uh, <laughs> okay. There's a, again, I could do this on the other machine, but I think it's helpful uh, for me, not you. Git show, and then you can use the, um, the ch let's use, let's just be as, li as terrible as possible and use, all, we're going to do all three of them. Okay, I need to put this somewhere where I can get to it. There we go, there's handles there. Uh, and then what you can do here is you can say, um, astro... Did I put this in Astro Const? I think I did, actually. Con uh, actually, let me do this. Astro Constellations, BC Constell, dot C. And if you put this back here, it should, it, it won't work. I mean, nothing ever does. Ooh. Okay. So, clearly, this is not the version we want. Unless, we're, we're st unless I imagined it all. So let's go and find a the next. I think that is actually a version after I after I changed it um, to try to do something else. So this might be the version we need. It might not be. I don't know. Uh, you know, whatever the fuck. Ooh, this looks better. Okay, so here's where I had this function that converts between uh, J2000 and B 1875. And this is where I had the constellation names. All this bullshit about constellations. Wow. Quite a bit of bullshit. Um, okay, hang on. Someone has found a... Okay, someone has beaten me. I'm very unhappy about this. Um, where's the word... Con where's Constellation in here? Um... No, I am already using a library called CSpice that has most of the stuff I need. The stuff it doesn't have, though, is constellations. Am I missing constellation here somewhere? I did a search for it. Uh, data from Stark. That might do it. Um, if you find something in here that's specific to constellation finding um, or classifying something into a constellation... Uh, that would be useful. The rest of this stuff, I think, is already in C Spice. Uh oh, he's gonna help me, everyone. Okay, well, find find where he has actual constellation code, unless I missed it or something. Um, but actually, I have the code. I just need to, um, you know, have it. Okay, clearly I'm going to need to do something better than this. Now, I don't know if Emacs will let you take the standard input as a uh, input, and it will not. So I will need to make a temporary file for this, which I will call console.txt. I will Emacs this. Okay. And that'll let me at least jump around a little bit nicely, more nicely. Or All right, you're going to help me. This is always scary when someone says they're going to help me. Okay, so this is this. This is the list of constellations. These are the declinations, these are the RAs, and the next, this is actually kind of horrible. So I'm going to go from here. <laughs> I like the way Emacs doesn't even know what line we're on now. La, 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 la. 
Let's see, is it going to be a... There we go. Okay. So that is something that is terrible. Uh, J2000. Okay. Okay. Oh. Wait. Uh, Pomodoro time, but because someone's here, we're going to skip it. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. But what am I converting? Where am I getting um, RA and DEC? That's what I want to. Oh! RAs. Um. Oh, this is actually a function. Um, end, end, end. So this is actually a function. And that, that eventually ends. Oh, come on. Position. Oh, here's the main. Okay, here's what we're doing. All right. All right. So we're not doing that anymore because I've commented it out. Worry about corner cases. So I think this code does literally nothing. I, I think this is empty code. But let's find out. I've got to be very careful how we do this, though. I do not want to overwrite any existing code. So we're going to do temp const to like um, temp.c. Do a make. Oh, fancy schmancy. Temp, temp, haha, <laughs> temp.c. Um, hmm. That's interesting. Why? Why would that not work? Let me see if this one compiles. If it doesn't... Yep, it doesn't. Alright, did I move spice.user? Did I fuck this up? The spice user h should be in my include path, though. Um, I'm going to try compiling this on the other machine real briefly. If that works, I'll figure out what's wrong on this one. Um, fuck. Okay... Uh, okay. Wow. Um. Nope, still missing spice user dot h. Let me see where the hell that is. That is. That is, just ah, that's terrible. I mean, that, that should be there. What the hell? Well, yeah, C is a crappy language. I don't like it either. Uh, it is not my favorite language. It's not even my... If there were ten languages, it wouldn't be in the top ten. But the rest of the stuff is written in C, so this is easier. In fact, I tried writing this in Perl originally. Um... And, oh, and I, oh, you know what? I think I've tried writing it in Mathematica. And um, even tried to use their existing uh, existing data. didn't work for some reason. Then I tried writing it in Perl, or maybe first I tried writing it in Perl. Um, okay, line, line, line. And something else went wrong there. And I don't want to modify this. Perl, yes. I'm 65, you freaking... You know that. You know how old I am. I writes in Perl. That's who's... Okay. Alright. Um, yes, I am. Okay, now you've got me all... Okay, what the hell? This makes me very unhappy. Um, I mean, the fact that it doesn't work on the other machine is actually really bad, too, because it means I literally cannot remake console if I want to. Yep. 
Oh. Oh. Okay, I see what's wrong. Um. This file I changed. Apparently, I added spice user to this for some reason. Um. Does that? If that, I'm screwed. Then if this breaks that though. Because it probably is going to break everything else then. And this is how you code. You break another thing that to break the first thing. Okay, let's go. Not good. Not good at all. Yeah, I, there's a reason I added them, so the fact that I'm deleting them now is, is very, very bad. Okay. So clearly when I wrote this, I was smoking crack. Um, I'm going to put these back in because I don't think it's a good idea to delete. Um... Boy, 30 year old boy, dude, are you hitting on me? You little twink there? Okay. Um, much badness things have occurred. Okay. So, apparently, I just really effed this up. Um,. Slash temp constable. Yeah, we are. Um, okay. So I mean, this test here would have basically checked every degree, um, just random points to see if they were in the right constellation. Um, but this does not have anything to do with HYG data, which I probably would would have changed the format of anyway. So that's not fun. Let me see if I have HYG data in a different form here, because uh, that I would have done. That that would have been like a change the data to let C read it easier. Aha! HYG data dot H. That is the uh, HYG data in a format that. Oh yeah, there it is. These are all the uh, lovely. Um, these are the two thousand eight hundred eighty seven brightest stars in the HYG catalog. These are the ones I tested. Um. And I'll find you that library. Well, if you're a twink, you know, you can find me a few other things. Um, I don't really know what those are. I don't, I know what a twink is. I don't know what things you could help me find. Many bad, dirty things, I'm guessing. Okay. <sighs> okay, so this is not what we're looking for. Um, I get the feeling this is also the wrong version to have pulled, so let's do something else. Um, git show. And I guess if we're being smart, I would be putting these like in different versions or something. Um, maybe I will do that, actually. <laughs> maybe I'll be smart by mistake. Okay, so this version... Dun, dun. First, let's just look at it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make a directory called 2020.05.03. That's today's date. And then we're going to put this into its version number. Whatever I had before into I... Did I do that right? Hopefully. Um, into its version number. And did I do another one? I think I did a third one. So it's... Uh, okay, I actually put that in the current directory, but we can move that. Okay, I think that's it. And let me make sure... Yep, I moved it in the wrong directory. Let's go ahead and move it into 2020.05.03. Unfortunately, I can't move to that directory myself because I am running 
uh, git commands here, uh, and that needs to be there. Okay, looking pretty good. And <sighs> okay, but it's not the library I need. Actually, it's I need to run the program uh, to find the errors. So I've got AC. I've got seventy six. I don't have this one. Pretty sure I don't have this one. Now there's a temptation here to like write all the revisions, write a program that just sucks down all the revisions. Um, which I'm beginning to think is a good idea. Um, but let's do this. Let's go here, here. Um, and let's go to the last revision before that date. So... Unfortunately, I get the feeling none of these might be... I might have actually created it and deleted it before committing it. So that means, even though I commit things a bajillion times, I don't commit the things I need to commit. Okay. So these are all pretty chunky. I, I have a compiler. I have GCC. Um, that would be nice to put these in some sort of order, huh? Let's just do this. Tail... Okay, so that's not the one I want. That doesn't look like the one I want. And I, I'm guessing the third one's also not going to be the one I want. Because um, it is very possible here. Ooh. Hang on. Um... Okay, so this does it for one value. Good stuff. Actually, let, let me see which one of these has the words HYG in it. None of them. That's... shiny. Um, so HYG data dot H. Well, you know what? That might be... Let's see when I created that sucker. The problem here is... Could it be this one? Oh, I keep forgetting. This is a Greenwich time. Um, so this would still be just 6 p.m. for me. Uh, let's see. This looks good, like good stuff. Does this have HYG in it? I wonder if I can do a control. I cannot do a control F. Okay. This actually might... Fuck. Well, actually, this is the last one that I would have done for the day. It looks like the, the one I did for the evening. Um... And that does not look correct, so it's probably this one. Um... No, because this one looks like we're going to look at planets here. Yeah, I like I like the way you kind of I mean this is why you're a horrible person. Um, one because you made fun of our wonderful friend Jimby, who has not been banned, and now you're saying I stand in awe of what I'm looking at, but you preface it with you're using technology before my time, so. Um, I like it. It's a, it's a backhanded compliment. I, I, I like it in the sense that I don't like it. Okay, so this is... Um... Yeah, this is definitely for, uh, for planets. So this... Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Is this the one that has HY... Okay. The fact that I have a temp include me dot c just really means I was being an a-hole. And you might ask, wouldn't it have been easier at this point to just rewrite the damn thing? And the answer to that is yes. Alright, so is it couldn't be the one before that, could it? 
So none of these actually do with the... Let's see, hang on. Um... Where the hell do I read freaking HYG data? <gasps> this. This is the clue. So this is... the hell well I can actually use it I think the current copy has that too so we're getting closer um yeah this is probably um what I did yep oh this is JavaScript Okay, hang on. Um, HYG, HYG. Is this how I created HY? Okay, let's take a look here. Yeah, this is the one I used for, for C. Doesn't help, let's see. Well, yeah, I think it can. Uh, why would I want, what sort of C++ do you want spliced in there, sir? And why the hell did I do this in such a terrible way? Uh, why the hell was it not even... And why the hell does, do these includes not work when they were before? Many, many questions, not many, many answers. Um... Okay... Alright, so at this point I think it would be a hell of a lot easier um, to actually just redo it. But actually, now that I've said that, I don't want to. Because, let's see. Um, you tried your data. Da, 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 da. Oh, I'm sorry. I actually need the, uh, the, the, the uh, C version of this, which is this sucker here. Units are in parsecs. Okay. Now, there's got to be a place where I actually use this. And when I say there's got to be a place where I use this, there is not a place that... So like, if I do git log, I mean, this is a this is a fun command. Um, I think it's git log minus p. I'm, I know you've typed something. Okay, so this should actually give me... Um, yeah, this gives me everything. So where do we have hyg data? While it's looking for that, ooh. Aha! That's a completely different thing called Moon Occult Star, but okay, cool, cool, cool. There's probably more. Uh, okay, let's take a look. Um... I get the feeling you're teasing me. You do understand that a group of satellites is also called a constellation. It has nothing to do... This, these constellations have nothing to do with star constellations. I'm pretty sure, but let's take a look. Okay, hang on. Because most people would not care about constellations in the radio... Um, yeah, I, I think this is uh, these are satellite constellations. That's why radio would be involved with that. So, um, what? I want to predict the future using cards. Um, that's probably the one we're on right now. Um. You know, I get the feeling these are not the kind of constellations that are stellar constellations. 
So meanwhile, okay, this one I know for a fact is the wrong uh, one because this is, uh, oh, that's still Moon Occult Star. Next, it is Pomodoro time, but I'm going to skip it because we have a guest. Um, let's see, Moon Occult Star. Not what I need. Not what I need. Oh, here we go. Um, what the hell is this? Wow. Whatever the hell this is, it's interesting. Moon Occult Star still. But this is getting a lot closer to what we need. Um, and I guess if I were smart, I would try to jump down a little bit. Um, because... That's okay. Okay, I'm going to look, okay. This isn't going to help me, dude. Okay, the problem is not getting a list of constellations. We already have that. The problem is trying to find where I already did some work that... Um, that is, um, has apparently been, it's not lost, but it's in here somewhere. Uh. Oh, this was in the playground. Aha! Uh -huh. This was in Pearl. Okay, now now we're really getting to the nitty gritty of this, I think. Um, yep, this. So this is where I put it into C form. Did all this good stuff. And why is the next? Oh shit! Is that the last one? No, no you're not making me upset. I should have. I shouldn't have said that. But but we're not looking. That's not what we're looking for. We know how to do this with constellations. Uh, the only thing is, um, it, it, I'm sort of, oh, oh, hello. Uh, Alpha ETV. This. Um, what is the date on this one? Okay. This is still not what I'm looking for, but it is getting very close. Um, nope. Uh, Mincep, so no. Nope. Maybe. Nope. Um, okay, this is the one where I define it. Damn it. So I'm very, very, very close. This is where I define it. Uh. Okay. This is where I go through the list of 2,865 stars and print out their um, their HYG positions. Just the first one, though, just the X value. Um, huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. So maybe I don't have it. Oh, hang on.
this is how I checked it. Uh, yes, it is. It is. But I'm going to uh, solve that problem by saying nice things to you while ignoring you. That's very helpful, just some critic. Thank you for helping me. Uh, but I think this is what I'm looking for. This is where the temp include C comes in. Um, and this is where I was doing the test of... Um, yeah, yeah, this is... This is where I wanted it. Um, did I do this on stream? I don't think so. Position... Um, oh! Oh my god. Hang on. Okay, that should still be in one-liners, actually. If, if it was before, it should still be there. Um... So this is the only one that's going to have include me.c in it. I think, yes! So whatever the hell this does... Um, so this is apparently something that generates C code. Um, and let's see what the hell it does. Actually, I don't even know if I need to be in this library. the hell? Oh, I know what's wrong. Okay, first of all, we don't need to remake, um... Okay. So this is... Oh, no, just overwrite it. So clearly I was just doing this as like sort of a one-off. Um, oh! So what this program basically did was print the constellation values of a bunch of stars? Wait. Wait a minute. Um, I see problems already developing here. And one of the problems is I did not account for proper motion. Um, but I think that's actually a fundamental thing that I... That it, so this would have been the thing... Okay. I think I'm getting it now. Yeah. So this was be this is the thing that basically tests whether or not a con uh, something is in the right constellation uh, by looking at pieces of HYG data and then computing the constellation it should be in based on my magic uh, formula that the ma the constellation function. Okay, I think I got that. Okay, one sec here. Uh, yeah, so let me make sure here that uh, constellation int, probably going to return an int. Constellation number, okay. Um, oh, okay, so that, that char, knowing me, I probably have it returning char star. Yep. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Yep, this is this is where it was. So it took me how long to find that? Let's 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 see how long it took me. One hour. It took me an hour to find code that was working before. Um that sucks. Okay, so basically what this is doing is it's taking stuff out of the uh HYGD catalog, computing the constellation number, and then letting um letting C Spice do all of the work. Um, 
which means if we look at BC Constell dot C. Yes, yes. There is two versions of this. One is here and the other is in Constellation. This is brilliant. This is what makes me hate myself. Okay, they might be identical though. They're identical, I'm a little bit... Oh, okay, they're identical, never mind. I think it's because I couldn't compile in that other directory. I have to compile in this directory. Okay. So where's the include me bullshit? Okay, that's gone. Okay, so now what we're going to do is... <sighs> so really all we need to do is print out... Okay, that's what we're doing. Okay. If the readme has something on useful on this, I'm going to be really annoyed. Um, because that probably tells me exactly what I need to know. That's why it's called readme. No, it is not. Okay, good. Unless... I bet you there's a readme.constal here. Spice closest. Jupiter. No, there's not. Cool. Alright, so I really did fuck myself over. Alright, so what we're going to do here now is... Um, Let's see. Now, how much... I think I just didn't want to waste space here, so that's... That's not too bad, actually. Okay. So basically all I need is a void main in front of this thing. Um... This is also why I never document anything. Okay. So this is 5,000. Okay. All right. All righty. What does this do here? Okay. And this is going to give all of them. Now, if I could get this into this uh, directory, we might have something. Because then, um, yeah, all right. All right, except we need the tail minus n plus 2. We do not need that. So let's do this. Temp uh, bc stars dot... Technically, it's C code. I mean, it's not really a header file. The problem is going to be, it's going to be way too big, even with compression. That is 10 million, actually it might not be. Hello, Ock Asphal, how are you doing? Good to see you. Um, oh, that's not bad at all. One, I think I can get that over there. Um... Me, 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 me. Do I want to do this? I think I'm going to put it over here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and push that in just a sec. Well, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to help out uh, with this. See, a long time ago, I found that some stars were not in their right constellations uh, according to HYG data. Um... And then I just very, this was on January 25th, then I very casually said, um, if you want, you know, I can run this program on everything and you can be all happy and stuff. But of course I didn't mean that. I didn't, no one ever takes you up on this bullshit. Uh, but this guy decided to take me up on that bullshit. And as you'll notice, he just did that 23 hours ago. So right here, my name, and he's going to take me up on this bullshit. So it turns out I actually broke the code so badly. Um, it is GitHub. I did find it in GitHub. I finally figured out what I did. It took me an hour to do that. 
now I'm hoping to run it. Um, so that is the, um, that is the uh, goal. And, and the idea is to find out um, the idea is to find out which stars are in the wrong constellation in HYG data. So we're getting closer to that goal. So now we have Okay. Good stuff. This should be actually pretty long, I think. Yeah, this is actually a fairly long... Um, Alright, so now we're going to write... bc-constell star.c, which is a new file. We're going to include... Actually, hang on. Let me see the original real quick. Oh, that's all I include. Okay, so I'll just include that. Um, now, here's where it'd be good to put in some instructions. To use this program, uncompress... Oh, what did I call it? Oh, fuck. There's too many of them. Um... Uh, and put it in temp bcstars.c. Um, to get the data in temp bcstars.c, see the one-liners... Nope, can't do that. I have to be a little less clever than that. So we will do this and this, and we do not do this. So after this, um, okay. So now I need to actually run this to make sure that um, it does what it says. Okay, I can afford to remove that because I've copied it over here. And now, God willing, these two files should be identical. All right, they are. Okay, good. All right, so... This is why I really need to be doing more documentation. Uh, the BC stars c file in the first place I did and now which basically prints the HYG constellation HYIG and constellation each star um followed by the computed constellation of each star. Okay. This will almost definitely not compile, but let's see what happens. Well, that's one reason. That's not what I actually meant for it to be, though. Um, okay, now let's try. Okay, it is it is a very big file, so that is not a that is not a problem. That it's taking a while. Um, while it takes a while, we'll we'll cut to a commercial. Hello, buy stuff. The economy is in the dump. Um, the Federal Reserve uh, is keeping rates at 0%. Some people think that uh, 
interest rates may go negative, but they probably won't. I'm running out of bullshit to st say. Um, it is Pomodoro time. I'm going to take it this time because it looks like this is going to take a while. Back in two and two. Okay, we are almost back. We are back. Now I'm going to go ahead and compile this on the other, <coughs> excuse me, on the other machine because it is uh, mounted here, so that's actually not a great thing. Okay. Oh, I probably need to uh, create the BC stars on the main machine as well. Okay, now it's, it'll probably take a while. Okay, so it's now running on the main machine. It's trying to compile on the main machine. It's going to take a little while. Uh, while it does that... Um, uh, wow, it's taking a while. Even on the main machine. Now, this is pretty big stuff here. We are actually including a lot of files. We're including the um, this file, which I think is 100,000 lines long. And we're including, uh, it turns out... Um, uh, this file, which that's not too big. Wait a minute. Hmm. Oh, no, we're actually not including that file. I think we are, but we're not supposed to. We don't need to. Anyway. Uh, still compiling. Not looking too good here. Um, this should not break C. Um... If anyone has an amusing anecdote to tell while we're waiting for this to compile on the other machine, this would be a good time to tell it. Um, if not, we might have to break this up into uh, pieces, which is maybe why I had the 5,000 in there in the first place. Um, so how much longer will we give this to compile? Uh, I decree that we will give this until 4430 to compile. Uh-huh, not looking too good. Not looking good at all. I'm going to check to see who's in chat because I'm really bored. I th hope you guys have left. Yes! Everyone has left and I have bored them to death. So... Um... And so, so now we, um... Oh, this guy actually does something else that's kind of nice. He also gives the the rotated coordinates um, after the conversion uh, to B8175. That is kind of... Okay! This is taking too long. Wow!
Holy crap. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to... Um, I'm going to change this to be just like the um, first few hundred lines. I think there's actually a problem with this, uh, according to the... Com other compiler was complaining, so um, maybe this is worse than it looks. What did I to call this? Stars Mini? Okay. Okay, so this is not happy. Implicit declaration of function constellation. Hmm. You know, at times like this, I wonder if... Um, and I mean, I know I can do it, but... It would be really useful maybe just to pull back to that point in time... Uh, so everything, because things in Git keep changing. The problem here is I changed the function constellation to, I'm almost sure, be constellation name. Yeah, I did. So that's why that doesn't work. Um, actually, I think this has to be constellation name of constellation number. Uh, let me check real quick, though. So constellation name, yeah, you can't give it uh, two parameters. You have to go constellation number, you have to go up here, constellation number, and then constellation name. Fun stuff. So that's why this code doesn't work. Um, you have to change that. And we, I guess, might want to add some other... Uh, well, okay, actually, that's, that's fine. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and change the... Um, Oneliners.sh uh, to print... Um, constellation name of constellation number of this bullshit. That's not what you're supposed to do. Okay, let's see how many parentheses. So this is end constellation number, end constellation name, end printf. Okay. And since we're going to be doing this for a while, until we figure this out, we might as well just do 500 of them. Okay. I mean, I could just compile again, but I want to see if this has any... What the hell? Hello? Um... Wait, didn't I just do shell one-liners? I did. Okay, hang on. Um... Uh, that's right. In the in the shell, you don't need to put the bang. There we go. Okay. Um. Oh, cool. Did I actually get my all my semicolons? Yes, I did. I'm a freaking moron. Let's maybe put the semicolons back in there. Hmm. That'd be useful. Alrighty, so... Okay. Ooh, it compiled! Oh, I need to rehash. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, shit! Um, even though I'm only dealing with stars because I'm doing a coordinate transform, I need to load in, um, let me find the other thing here. DC constel by itself. I still need to load in my, um, my, uh, my, my library of thingamabobbies. That's what it's called, library of thingamabobbies. Um... 
Yeah. Let's try that again. Oh, actually, can we just... No, we have to make it again. Okay. Okay, fantastic. So now it is printing out um, the HYG constellation as well as the... Um, as well as the, uh, you know, mama, um, as well as the constellation as I determined from my program. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. <sighs> now I'm going to try remaking it over on the other plat. Well, let's, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and turn this back into BC stars, the whole thing. Um, which I guess I need to recreate because of, um, oh, actually I shouldn't be doing that. I should actually be just copying what I have and then be unzipping it. Um, so actually... This is no longer correct. So let's see what Sh one liners does. Oh, because I commented it out, didn't I? Wait. Oh, it writes it to. B okay, right, 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 right. Writes it to BC stars. Dot C. Okay, that looks good. Um. And I've edited the code to say BC stars dot C. All right, let me try running this. Let me try making this even on the other machine. Because uh, that does take a little bit of time. So what I have to do is I have to bzip2 minus V temp BC Because this is clearly not the right one. And then copy temp BC stars. Uh, dot c dot bz2 dot with replacing the one I have. Yep. Why do I have a file called exclamation point? Oh, because I tried to, um, I to yeah, I tried to do bang. Um, I tried to do a redirect, I tried to do a redirect with a bang, and that doesn't work in the shell, it just creates a file called exclamation point. Okay, still taking quite a big, bit of time here. I'll give it a few more seconds. Um. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, fuck, I forgot to recreate um, BC stars correctly. Uh, because we changed it, but we didn't change it on the other machine, because we're kind of... Um, running between two machines is no fun. But now, let me see if that BC stars right. Okay, now. Okay, now, hopefully it's at least going to try to compile without errors, or warnings, um, which might mean it actually compiles, but it might not. You never know these days. Oh. Sorry, I messed something up. All right, so we'll give it about a minute or two to compile. Um, so the whole point of this is basically to find out where there are discrepancies um, and whether or not they, um, they match this guy's discrepancies. Um, and... Oh, and I've not been... I know I've not done proper motion. Let me actually look to see if I have git log if I meant I should mention proper motion somewhere um okay oh so this is I do need to add proper motion star pause should be adjusted for proper motion um So I'm clearly aware of it, I'm just not doing it. Let's 
spherical to XYZ. Oh, okay, that's not proper motion. That's proper something else. Okay, and basically I'm killing time until the damn thing compiles on the other side, which it is not doing. Um, so that's fun. Whoa, 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 whoa. This looks interesting. Uh, okay, cool. Um, so do I actually com So basically I think I'm aware of proper motion, I just ignore it everywhere. Uh, which I probably should not be doing. Um... Okay, still not compiled over there, so I'm going to have to do something else. Um, I think I'm just going to have to do it like a few thousand at a time, basically. Alright, screw that. Um, or get a more powerful machine, but I, that's not practical, actually. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. This thing was a total piece of crap, not helpful. Okay. Um, All right. Let me see how big that is, actually. Mm, I'll go ahead and be unzip it because it's not going to help us. Uh, like this. So let's go ahead and be unzip the sucker. Ta da! Okay. Okay, so what we have here is okay, this is gonna be fine. Um now let's split it using the split program. And this is just gonna make this is this is the reason um we can't have nice things, because I'm gonna do this, then I'm gonna actually use what the hell? Oh did I get it did I get the split here? I did get the split here. Did not want that. Um, hang on. Let me make sure I'm not moving anything else. Now we're good. Um, because I'm going to do this one step at a time, and I'm never going to remember I did this this way. But it is on stream, so still not going to help any, but you know. So let's do the XAA one first. Let's see if we can... Um, and even this should, is going to take some time. Uh, more so because we're on a on a, this machine here. Yep. Oh, shiny! It actually did it. All right. Okay. So this is for the first five thousand stars. Mostly, you'll notice that they agree with each other. Um, now, if this guy's correct here. 3865 should not agree. Of the, of the 5,000 we have, only that one is going to miss. Uh, and it does. Okay, cool. Um, so I guess if we're really going to be... Um, man. I mean, really putting all this crap... Using, using a giant printf statement is not the right way to do this. We should be reading... Um, we should be using F open, reading from a file, all that good stuff. Uh, is this this is ten thousand lines or five? Oh, it is ten thousand. Okay, cool. Um, you know, I get the feeling I did the other thing on stream too, which was my excuse for not um, for not documenting it better. So we're gonna make the same <laughs> mistakes we made before. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and use. Um, we're gonna in this window. We're gonna be doing the okay. Go ahead and get out of that. Um, so we're going to do the makes in window wherever the hell that was. I don't know where. I, oh, you're okay. You will now become window zero. Okay. All right, Pomodoro time. Back in two and two.
Okay, we are almost back. Um, and we're back. Now, it looks like what this guy did is also compute the uh, rotated positions. Um, which actually would be kind of nice for me to do. But let's see if we can match his... Re if we match his results exactly... Um, I think we'll be okay. So we, we want to do XA first. We're going to do the make here. And then we're over here, we're going to do the constal star. Rehash. XA. Let's try that again. Okay, cool. Now we'll do it for XAB. This is kind of ugly. Change this. The more steps there are, the less likely it is to work well. And I'm kind of bored. I might have to make this on the other machine. Now let's make sure XAB is the correct, yeah, it is, okay. So let's see which one he thinks is going to be bad in the first 10,000. He said 3865, which we can from 7751. Um, yep, absolute confirmation. Uh, in the next 10,000, he said 10342. See if we can get that one. Yep, Pursues versus Andromeda. Um, just yep. Nineteen one seven. I think we're gonna totally agree with this guy, basically. Um, I think that's that's not Hydra. I think that's Hygrosalium, the clock, and and uh, Ret is. Not retina. Oh god, I just had it a second ago. The rect rectangulum, the net. Um, really dumb constellation names. But, uh, yep. Okay. Alright. So I know I've not GitHubbed any of this stuff, by the way. Um, I'm trying to see. Alright. I mean. Yeah, the problem here is going to be basically, I really don't want to write a C program uh, that does the right thing, Jesus, uh, which does the right thing and reads this, does the comma separation, finds the data that it needs, and then um, compares it to the data that we get from the, uh, well, actually, this also, problematically, uh, I'm using the right ascension and declination when I should be using a dec right ascension and declination corrected uh, for proper motion. In other words, find the star's proper motion, convert the coordinates. Oh my god. So, what the... Yeah. Okay. So, you might be asking the question, have I, and if you're watching me, you, just wasted one hour and 40 minutes doing something that's not going to yield a result? And the answer is yes. Because... Um, because basically, we can't help. Um, I'm, I should probably post an apology for breaking the program so badly that it doesn't work anymore. Um, and maybe note that the current version of, you know, I, I did do some more tests and we're still getting the exact same errors as before, but I'm not going to. All right, so let's go back to readme stream and see what the hell we... We won't be doing... Okay, so two wonderful people to remember. Constellation discussion on GitHub, which we have now um, totally ignored. And this was a, a, this was a um, statistics problem someone asked me to do, which I helped them out with. Uh, we tried to see if there was a way of doing a Minecraft or mine uh, testing and using HTML5. Uh, we did not find that. And we wanted to know about the... the, the, the this one I think we might look at. Um, the problem of finding 
there's the problem that basically says find a country that begins with D, then find an animal with its last letter, then find a color with the last letter of that animal. Uh, it, there's a more sophisticated setup to that. And people then almost always will choose orange kangaroos in Denmark. Although you could, of course, choose apple-colored impalas in Djibouti. But the question is, can we solve this problem sort of definitively? Um, in other words, come up with a very large p number of possibilities and, and just sort of, you know, print them out somewhere for no good reason. Um, and I do want to look at that problem. The other problem here is about uh, minimal permutations to reach a given state, which is boring. Well, it's not really boring. It's actually very exciting. But And what we were doing here is we were actually looking at Wikidata um, and all of the lovely... Uh, all of the lovely uh, queries we can make on Wikidata to find what we're looking for. And I still haven't found, I still haven't found how to sing. Do we have wiki query up here? No, we do not. So let's go to Wikidata. Um, and let's number one bookmark this. And number two, let's pin it. And then we can also go to Wikidata here because I need to find out what the wiki codes are for various things. Okay. And we're going to do animals first. Um, don't know why. Kingdom of Multicellular Eukaryotic Organisms, Q729. So that's the important thing to remember. We probably can create a new um, file for this. Um... Let's name it as badly as possible. So no one knows what the hell that means, because we haven't given any text background for that. And I will continue to use the other one as my, um, as my, um, my basis, sort of. So I think... Um, what is 407? Do I, I don't, do I need that? That's right, I get the feeling this is going to tell me what languages were, I mean, we do need to limit ourselves to the English language, uh, because I said so. But I, okay, cool. Um... So there are no animals in the world, quite sadly. Um, terrible tragedy has occurred, apparently. Um, do I mean... So P31 star is instance of, right? As opposed to subclass of. Um, and I think we need to go a little bit... We need to go into... Um, I think we need to go into... We, we, I mean, we eventually do need to do instance of. But we need to do, um, what's the other one, 279 star, which is a uh, subclass of, or super subclass of. The star means sort of go recursively. That's what I meant to do. Yeah, there we go. Um, and I don't think we need that language thing. Let's, let's see what this does. Okay. Quite sadly, I'm having trouble believing this. Um, pretty sure there are subclasses of animals, and I think what's screwing us over here is um, the the maybe the, the 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 you'll notice that the word label doesn't actually appear in my queries anywhere, but that's because this wiki-based service converts it. But it also sucks, so we won't do that. So now. Okay, or it's broken completely. No matching records found. Do we need a dot here? Hang on. It's very, very picky about putting dots in places. Um, I might need a dot here. Okay. 
I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this, and we just want the name of all the animals, all the subclasses of animals, technically. Oh, so it is working. I guess um, asking for the language was a bad idea. Okay. Wow, it would be nice to have the labels on these. Um, we don't even actually need these, but let's let's see if we can restore our name label by using the wiki doodly service thingy. Um, why am I putting this dot? In, there really should be a space there. Let's see what this does. That might not be correctly. For, oh, now we're cooking. These are all of the sub types of subclasses of animal. Um, there's a lot of them. These, are, these aren't even all the animals in the world. This is just the subclasses of animals that exist. Uh, and there's 1161 of them. So now the question is why didn't um, P31, let's get instances of animals. This is going to... Um, the problem is very few things are directly instances. Queen Elizabeth's corgis. Why? Okay. So now, how do we do a recursive search here is probably what you're asking. In other words, how do we get not just everything that's an animal, but everything that's considered a subclass of something that is an animal? That is the thing we're looking for. I probably need to learn how to paste better. Oh, wow. Hang on. Uh, copy? This version of Emacs should accept that. There we go. Okay. Um, so we will continue to use this wiki-based service. We will also do this. We will put a space here. Okay. So now what we want to do is... Um, see, da -da -da -da, name label. Sub-label. Animal label. So we're going to see how we're going to use those. So we're looking for is... Um, sub is going to be a subclass of animals. What, what is it again? 270? God, yeah, 279. That's what I meant. Okay. So that's going to be a subclass of uh, let's see. Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. And then animal is going to be an instance of sub. So this should give me all the animals in the world. I don't know how to limit it to the... I should be able to limit it to the English language, right? I mean... Oh shit, hang on. Oh, that's why I did that. So I wouldn't have line carry over. Okay, so this should give me every animal in the world. I mean, it won't, but... But it should. Uh, any subclass of animal, any instance of the thing that we're looking at. And if this works, we're going to get like hundreds of thousands of, well, it might, and we might, this actually might be working. We might actually get hundreds of thousands of results. 14,064 results, not as many as expected, but, um, why don't I have a name label? Oh, shit. I don't have a name here, do I? I actually kind of screwed that up. Because I used animal label as my name label. Um, now my sub label is looking a little wonky. Because it shouldn't be the... Um, okay, something is fucked up here. Um. Okay, Fabergé egg is a um, subclass of animal. I mean, really? I know. I know things are bad, but all right. Um. Okay. Well, you know what? I really wish I had to search Wikipedia, which I know I could do, but um. Categories. OK. 
Okay, those all seem fine. Oh, hang on. The category Fabergé eggs. Yeah, one of the problems here is, of course, there's a, there's a, um, there could be a very long path from animal to Fabergé egg that probably shouldn't be there, but, um, now the question is, can we find that path? And the answer is we can, actually, but you kind of have to do it, like, one at a time. Um... And I'm trying to find an example where it's like we, we you nest basically. This is getting close. Um. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> above works. Yay. Um. Oh, you can do limit. Okay. We will maybe do that. Um. Okay. So now let's do this. Um. Sublabel where sub by itself is a hmm. Let's call this sub one because we're going to actually be going, we're going to be nesting. Um, is a so I, I'm not sure if I want to say direct subclass. Uh, I guess we do because we are actually trying to find uh, we're trying to find depth here. So yeah, so it's a direct subclass of of the animal, which is Q729. Um, and I might as well do this. This is probably not going to work. Um, because the idea here is we want to find when sublabels when they're by themselves, even if they don't. Um, and here it would be a um, here it would be a sublabel, a subcategory of the category, um, which I don't think I should put a dot there, but I will, and then. Um, how am I doing limits here? Okay. Um, so let's see. This is not going to work. I mean, if it if it does work, it's going to be bad because it means I don't understand what I'm doing. But that is sort of a um, a given. Okay. Alrighty. So let's see what this is not going to work, but. Um, Oh, okay. Um, now, the thing I need to say here, though, is I want to... Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Seriously? This is just 500 of them. Wikipedia really sucks balls. But I want cases where the second is allowed to be blank. In other words, sub-2 can be blank. I want also direct subcategories. Um, Pomodoro time, back in two and two.
and we are almost back and we are back sorry now we're back all right so pretty sure I've done this before so let me I did it for music dead musicians at one point so okay um I think I did it for court no, let's see I'm going to do this on the other machine. I'm going to try to find all the files that match the word music, because I do remember doing this. Um, but then again, I'm pretty old, and I remember doing stuff I never did. So, that's... Uh, oh, yeah, here it is. God damn. Um, I do a lot of strange stuff. Okay. So someone was asking if more musicians had died in, uh, this is apparently a very old question, in the year 2005, and I was going to say not really, oh no, sorry, 2016, that's not that old of a question. Um, and I got that information by doing uh, some Wikidata stuff that you would think celeb death. Okay, good. So it's always good to have stuff in the wrong place, but this is, um, holy crap. Um, and this was like pretty much just a list of why this is stupid. Um, okay. Fucker. Jesus Christ. Okay, so what is this trying to do? This is saying... You know, the more I think about it... Um, yeah, P279 should do what I want with the star. So this should really just be... Oh, right, right, but that doesn't give me the, um, the path to how it became an animal. Not evolutionary path, but the, um, the trail of, uh, of, of, of how it became one. Okay, that's cool. Let's see. I love the fact that I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. And by the way, this is the question right there. I wanna, anyone wants to look at it and say, hey, some guy tried to do some work on it five years ago and it's totally useless now. Uh, let's see. Um. I did do this for musicians because I actually found, oh, here we are. Um. Do I actually have these files here? I don't think I do. No, I don't. Of course I don't. Um, do I have the deaths files here at least? Probably don't. Nope, do not. Um, here it is. That's how I did it. Um, so yeah, basically you got to go down one level at a time using uh, 279. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, crap. I had to write multiple queries then. I didn't actually find a way to do... Let's hang on. Um, yeah. So I think we should be able to do this with optional. Okay. Wrong one. And so now we should be able to say, do this, do this. Oh, actually. Um, so we're going to make, is it parentheses? Or no, it's braces. Um, 
And do we need a dot after? I think we need a dot. Yeah, we need a dot after the um, after the brace sentence. And I guess we do put dots right there. So if this works, it should give me a list of things that are considered to be instances of animals and instances of subclasses of animals along with the subclass that they're an instance of. Pretend I said that correctly. All right. And if this works, we're in good shape. Okay. Um, that's fine. Someone, what we're looking for is where there's going to be no sub two label, something that's considered an animal, but not necessarily. <coughs> Excuse me. Yay. So a hippopotamus. Is in the category of animals directly. Wait, it's in the category of hippopotamuses. Um, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Why are you not in the category of animals? You're supposed to be. Aminal. Um, animal? Hmm. You're supposed to be directly in the categories of animal. All right, hang on. Uh, the other problem, of course, is we might have hippopotamus in multiple languages. Oh, that's hippopotamus. Uh, this one should just be a... Um, hmm. To directly be a member of animal, but... Uh, of course, we are uh, using multiple Wikipedias uh, because we're using multiple languages. I don't know if there's a way to restrict to English. Um, I mean, there probably is. Um, ooh, with English labels, but I want—I mean, just limit it to the English Wikipedia. Let me. Let me. Um, I think I'm sure there's a way of doing it. Let me see if I can find an example. Um, filter, language, yeah, no, I think what you can do here is, yeah, there is a way to do languages, let's, I forget what it is, but let's find out. No, there's like question lang or something. Lang label. Um, so I think we can do that. P407 is the property that we need. Um, so we'll just say the first one has to be in this language because that's kind of. Um, okay, what was it? 407? Uh, 407. Oh wait, that just tells me what it is, doesn't it? But we can we can use that. Um, question lang. And then we would want the lang label. All right, let's see if we can uh, find this language of work or anything. This is kind of iffy here. Zero results. That is not what I'm looking for. Sub one. Language or work of name. Um. Okay. That should work. Uh, I mean, it's not—it's not a malformed query. I guess what we need to do here is make that optional as well. Uh, that should work, but I'm, I'm kind of unhappy about that. Yeah, there we go. So unfortunately, it looks like these things are—we're no, not going to get the language, the Wikipedia in which it was found. I still think we can do that, though. Hang on. 
Um, still think there's a way to do that though. Uh, let's see. Um, because I don't think all of these are necessarily. I don't think this limits it to the English wiki. It just gives the names as the English wiki, but that's different from English. So let's see. Um, okay, no. Um, let's let's just Google this. Um, wiki data query, English, Wikipedia, only. Um, by the way, another way to do this is to actually download the uh, entire database, which I have done before, uh, and you can parse it yourself. It's not terrible uh, to do it that way. And this does not help. Um, English, that kind of worries me that the word lexeme is, um, is there, but let's see, da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. wait, there's nothing in there that says English, is there? Oh. So it's, wait, this isn't a property, is it? It must be, I guess. All right, well, let's use this. Um, so what we want here is sub one, language of Wikipedia is, okay. I guess this is correct. And we don't need this anymore. Because uh, language is always going to be English. So in the English Wikipedia, go screw yourself. Oh, this should not be a semicolon. This needs to be a dot. Not cool. Uh, I don't think this is right, actually. Um, let's see if we can find a property that means, um, yeah, this, this might be, let's go back here real quickly, but I get the feeling this might be difficult. Lexemes? I don't even know what the fuck a lexeme is. Maybe one day I'll figure that out. Pictures of nouns. Canadian subjects with no English article in Wikipedia. <gasps> ah, there we are. Um, is part of. Um... Is that a property? And where do we get an article that must be defined here somewhere? Yeah, maybe we'll find an easier example that has that. We're getting to where we need to be now. Wikipedia. Uh, that's. It's not the same thing. Um, and where are you getting article from? Country da article schema about. Oh. That seems backwards. 
And it would be the country's... Okay, maybe it's not, though. Let's, let's see what this does. Uh, so schema about, or schema is part of, apparently, is the magic phrase that I don't know about. Um... Schema about, and we'll call it we'll call it lang because we we happen to have it there. We happen to have that variable available to us. That's not very good. Um, it is schema about, right? I mean, that's that's. Let's make sure it runs without this uh, bullshit that I just put in, just in case I didn't screw that up. So that still works. The thing that breaks it is this. It won't... Schema language, maybe? Oh, hang on. Schema language, when I do this, it should actually update the... Um... Hmm. Schema, but this doesn't actually do anything, does it? I mean, let's take a look at what that is, but I mean... In language. This isn't going to work either, though. Yeah. Ooh. Double woo. Yeah, we're fudged. Um, all right. I mean, it would be really nice, even if we didn't limit it, to know where, which Wikipedia this we're getting this from. I consider each language Wikipedia to be a separate Wikipedia. I mean, obviously, they're all one sort of big Wikipedia. So is the article... I mean... I mean, they're using these as part of the queries. I mean... You know what? Let's do it the way that I think it should have been done, which is backwards. In other words, we really should have been saying, instead of this... Um, oh, no! They want it the other way. So this is... I mean, this can't work. This is backwards. Yeah, of course it worked. All right, Pomodoro time, back in two and two. And we are almost back. And the fact that we got... We're back. Uh, they got 500 queries here. Okay. Okay. Well, these foreign people have a lot of stupid names uh, for their uh, schema about... That's kind of nice, actually. What else can I get? What other things can I put after the word schema? Autocomplete! Ooh. 
shit, I was joking about that. Oh. Oh. I am fascinated by all this crap. I don't think I can get all of it at once, but let's say scheme a name. Which might be actually not very useful. What? <laughs> so scheme about is fine. And why is this backwards? I mean, this is saying that the language is... It should be the other way around. Alright. Control space. Internet description. Alright. What? The hell? I mean, seriously, what the hell? Don't you know what fucking language you're in? Ooh, article, maybe. That should just give me a URL to the article. Nope, gives me nothing. Alright, schema about it is. I guess that's how you get the URL. But now we need to be a little bit careful here. So we're going to copy this over. Um, to my Danish kangaroos file. Okay. So we actually want to make this optional as well, just in case someone wants to... Um, just in case someone wants to fuck us over and create uh, things that are somehow not in any Wikipedia in the world. I don't know how that would work, but okay. Alright, so we can get the language, we can get this, we can get the subclasses. We got, uh, I think we've got those, right? We've got 500 of those? Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, it's a little bit, I wish there was like a sort by random order, because uh, the order we get it in is going to be like fish, fish, fish. Anchovies are fishes, did you know that? And fishes are anim, I don't think we, yeah, Q729 is an animal, so. So now, let's, I'm going to go ahead and push this to git, because I haven't pushed anything to git in a while. Oh, man. Oh, hang on. I accidentally created a temp file that I did not mean to create. <sighs> so actually, I need to kill this commit. Uh, get reset head temp.c, remove temp.c, yep. Um, I, I'm on another machine, I know you can't see what I'm doing. Um, and I just get the feeling that bcstars.c is not going to help anyone. So we're going to reset head on that. And we're going to then remove it. I'm on a different machine, and I'll be back in a sec. Okay. Readme stream has changed. BC, that one's fine, that one's fine. Alright, let's try it again. Uh, Constell star is fine, kind of. Yeah, Alright, we're good. Alright, push away it goes. Um... So now what I was going to say is, can we do this without without the limit? I mean, we can, obviously. We can do this, but should we? Should we do it without the limit? Yeah, this is, this is where I was worried a little bit about it. So quite 18,000 results. And... Okay. I I think I'm gonna be try to be a nice guy and um, partly for my own own self. But let's see if we can limit it to just um, just Wikipedia, just the English Wikipedia. Schema is part of. Okay, can we get is part of though? Is that is that something that we are, we're allowed to have? Is.
Oh, god damn it. Really? I'm gonna make this optional, but I still get the feeling that the problem here is much deeper. Uh, now we'll get a bunch of results, but we won't have a is part of in it. Yep. So the schema thing is pretty, I mean, it, it exists. About name, description, date modified, article, in language is part of it. So none of these actually do what they're supposed to do. Um, the only thing I can think of... Uh, they all do have a schema. Oh shit, I should have put a limit on that. If you'd like to put a limit on it, because otherwise it takes too long to run, and it uses up... Okay. Wiki quote? What the hell? <laughs> um... Okay. So what I want to say is the lang about schema, which is actually should be reversed, um, matches, isn't equal to, but matches the English Wikipedia. Good luck with that. Um, actually, I think we can do that. This won't work. Okay, I think we can go way to the top here and look for partial matches. Um, um, action expression. I'm gonna one day, I'm gonna, is Lexium really a thing? What is a Lexi? I mean, it seems really, not, it's not like a Lexus. Ooh, shiny. Okay. Okay, filter. This will probably not work, because it never does. So filter, so we're filtering the language, that's the thing we want to filter. And it has to match englishwikipedia.org. So if this works, I will be elated. It won't, but if it does, I would be elated. Uh, do we need? I don't think that will work, actually. Yeah, I didn't like that. Um, so this, in theory, will match any character. Let's see what this does. Oh shit, it worked. I mean, of course it worked. I am a genius. So this should give... Oh shit, I forgot to put a limit on it. Oh. That is not cool. Actually, let's see something here real quick. I mean, I'm giving the lang label, but the lang itself might be a little bit... It's not really language either, I know. It's it's the schema about in its raw form. Um, so let's get rid of the... Oh, shit, I should have put a dot in front of this. Um, let's try it now. This should be weird. So it takes a while to run. Even though I've limited it to 500. Yep. Wow. I'm really fucking with it. Okay. So let's go to this line real quick. So what does the lang look like raw? Because I put lang label there. That's a little bit different than the lang itself. Okay. So this is basically a link. Um... Okay. Let me just see if we can do this. Um, yeah, that's not correct. Subclass of animal. I don't think I can get what I need from here. Yeah. Um...
So, okay. And I, sh I mean, the filter here would have to be on Lang. Um... Add filter? What happens if I just do this? Okay, so I don't think it recognizes that I'm doing a filter. Um... Can use their exam. Oh, they do not put a dot after this one. Is it the last one doesn't get a dot after it? Uh, let's see what happens if I do this. This should give me a syntax error. Yeah, that I actually expected. Uh, hang on. Um, I don't know. Filter something. Surprised me. Actually, I think I can do that here. That didn't help. Um, all right, screw it. We're not going to filter. Um, all right. So I think the thing I was going to do in the first place, which was pound their servers by not filtering, is what we're going to end up doing anyway. And we are going to get, of course, the... Uh, we're, we don't need both of these. We are, of course, going to get the... Um, I guess for this one we actually, well, we'll use lang label. It's a little bit more work for it to actually figure out the label for the lang, but if we're going to beat it to death anyway, we might as well beat it to death good. Okay. So now we're still going to have the limit 500 for right now, so I'm going to try a couple. So now what we want to do, um, let's put this up here. <coughs> Excuse me. And now we can create the remaining sub -lib. This is very cruel. Sub three, sub four, sub five, sub six, sub. I think we're gonna stop at eight for now, just because I want to see what's going on here. Um, six, seven, eight. Well, nine. Okay, and then we will have sub three. Label? I don't think, I think this is going to, I think this is going to self-destruct on me. <sighs> Let me see if I can get this part of it to autofill here. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we're going to try to find, we're still going to do the limit 500 for now, but I get the feeling the, um, the depth level I'm requesting here is too great, um, but you never know. So if this works, we're going to go ahead and do it with uh, without a limit, um, and then we're going to leave the country. Whoa! Yeah, that should, should fuck you up nicely. Dun 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 dun. dun. So this will show all things that are animals down to the ninth level. In other words, things that are subclass of subclass of subclass of da 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 nine times up to animal. Uh, or, more likely, it will not. Um, and I don't know if there are any down to the ninth. I mean, I, I get the feeling we have to even go deeper than this, to be honest. I think the ninth level is not sufficient. So lovely. While this query runs, um, something. Um, wow. So what, what's going to be really terrible here? Yep. Query timeout will reach. So basically we screwed them, made them do a lot of crap, and it still failed because of the timeout. So now, believe it or not, this is going to make things easier. Um, 
And this is actually probably what we should have been doing in the first place. This is just going to give the raw objects. It's not going to give their names or anything. Um, now this, this actually has a chance of working. Um, because this is actually a lot faster than... Then, because it takes for for some reason, uh, converting these labels to English is just takes forever. All right, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Oh, cool! And actually, the very first thing sort of gives us the name, but we don't know the names of all these other things. We have to figure those out. Do we actually have any going down to the ninth level? Oh my god, I think we do. If we do, that's kind of amazing. Unless we have something circular here. Come on, can I shift over the page? Okay, we can make this... We can screw you over. So you got to kind of wonder what this... Oh Jesus, it's going to give us every path. Motherfucker. So who is this guy? Oh, we're not even close then. Um, if there's a recursive something going on here, we're screwed. Because uh, this will never end. Oh my, because we're literally... Are these literally the same path except in different languages? Yes, they appear to be. This is not looking good. And the fact that we're not... We haven't stopped at level 9 uh, isn't good either. Now... This is going to time out. If it doesn't time out, I'll be very surprised. Because uh, if it actually returns a result, it's going to return probably millions of rows. Which, if it does, I, I will download them. Um, but I think what we're going to have to return to here is downloading a copy of Wikidata and then um, then using it ourselves. Not, not a huge deal. I mean, I've done it. Uh, Pomodoro time, but I'm thinking we're going to probably download Wikidata and then call it for right now. So I'm not going to take uh, the Pomodoro for right now in the hope of ending the freaking stream. Or the unfreaking stream. Okay? I think we're going to hit the timeout. By the way, downloading Wikidata, of course, is very similar to downloading Wikipedia because they're the same thing. Uh, but it, I think the format is a little bit nicer. Um, it's been a long time since I've downloaded it, so I don't really remember. Um, but I think it's a, it's in a nicer format for what we're trying to do. Uh, and I say that, you know, with absolutely zero confidence. Um, all I know is that Wikipedia itself is actually in pretty bad shape. Um, I mean, you can obviously you can get stuff from it because it's Wikipedia. That's how Wikidata does it. But I think Wikidata uh, gives you actually less information. That's, yes, holy crap. 40 million. So it kind of stopped after 40 million. Um, okay. So I think uh, we have... I, will, I was going to see if I had an older copy of Wikidata, Wikidata but we're going to need to um, we're need to download it. Um, okay, and I think we don't even need to be on the query service. We just need to be on the main page. Uh, let's see if there's a download... Oh, 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 dump. Okay, hang on. Uh, we'll have to look here. Community portal, recent changes, random items, query service, nearby help, donate. Uh, do I need an account to download? I probably do. Um, Alrighty, let's just do it the right way. 
Download Wikidata. I've done it before, I think I can do it again. Oh, well, there it is. That really was too easy. Um... Um... So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to, I don't really care for the JSON string. The JSON string. I don't care for the JSON language. But apparently, we don't have a. That's the one they recommend. Oh, I remember this. This is like freaking huge. Latest all JSON. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see. Is that 54 gigabytes compressed? Motherfucker. Yep, that's 54 gigabytes. Now, the problem is I don't really want to download that on this machine because I don't want to download that on this machine. Um, partly because it's mounted, but also because it's going to take some time and I might want to shut this machine down. So I am going to go ahead and, and get that data. Um, let me see if I already have it. I know I do have it, but... Um, uh, latest all, Jason... And, it, I, and I know the copy I have is huge. Oh, I have two copies of it. That's good. Because plenty of space. And all I can say is thank God that... Uh, thank God that uh, Comcast is giving me a data holiday. A bandwidth holiday. So I can download as much as I want. Alright, let me go ahead and... Um, and I get, I get the feeling this is not going to be interesting for you guys because all I'm doing is downloading this file. Alright, so thank you very much for watching the stream. I may or may not be back later, and goodbye for now.